The question of pancakes or waffles is a very heated debate, but it doesn't have to be any longer because there is a third option. Yes, it has the nooks and crannies that waffles have, but it also has the round shape and the soft pliability that pancakes have. What is this magical breakfast item? It's called the ploy. Let's get started. The ploy is a traditional Acadian dish originally from New Brunswick, and it's still really popular in that part of the world. So you have New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, you have Nova Scotia, Northern Maine, and Southern Quebec. And once I had it, I can see why it's so very popular. And the unique thing about the ploy is that it can be served sweet, like a breakfast item. It can also be served as a side, warm, delicious, fresh bread, but it can also be served savory, like um, with fresh pork pate spread on top. And to be honest, one of the most appealing things is it couldn't be easier to make. So really few items, starting with something that bread, uh, pancakes, and waffles all have in common, which is a little bit of AP flour. Starting with half a cup. Then we'll go straight to another half a cup of something, but this is buckwheat flour. Now, for those of you that have ever had soba noodles, that's exactly what soba noodles are made with. Traditionally, buckwheat flour, it's, um, it's like sweet, it's earthy, uh, it's gluten-free, which is pretty cool, and it has a very unique flavor to it. So we'll go a half a cup of that. We do need a little bit of leavening, so that's where the baking powder comes into play. We'll do two teaspoons of that. Just a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. You do need that salt for a bit of flavoring. And water. The water is going to moisten it up. And we're going to stir that in three quarters of a cup of just regular tap water. Now stir this in. And we're going to let it sit for about five minutes. Now, what happens during those five minutes is that the buckwheat and the AP flour is going to swell. It's gonna have a really lovely texture to it. Now, it looks a little thick, true, but the cool part comes after the five minutes when we add just a quarter cup of boiling water. And I'll tell you exactly what that does after we let that sit for five minutes. Five minutes are up. I just pulled this water off the boil. And the importance of just off the boil is this is a technique called scalding. We're gonna scald the flour. It's a very popular technique. Scandinavia, also Asian cultures use it. If you ever had buns, like pork buns, or um, like mushu pork or mushu vegetable with those pliable pancakes, that's exactly what scalding flour does. It makes it very pliable. Uh, it makes it so that the flour holds onto the water a little more efficiently. So we're gonna whisk this really vigorously because it starts, to, it starts to get like like a soft chewing gum. The starch has really come out. All right, that's it. So flour is scalded. We're gonna wait five more minutes and then it's time to make some ploys. Five minutes are up. Pan is quite warm. It's over medium low heat and I have a quarter cup measuring cup. Now, super easy to do and it happens really quickly. So I'll do a quarter cup, take the pan, sort of swirl it to distribute all the batter, put it back over, <laughs> it's gonna cook in like a minute. That's why you can bang out a dozen of these in no time for breakfast or dinner. Now, if you take a look at this, the bubbles are already happening, just like they do in pancakes. The bubbles come up from the heat on the bottom. These have like extra bubbles uh, and one of the really cool, unique things about employees is traditionally, you don't have to flip them. So it's like making pancakes, but twice as fast with more of like an earthy, nutty flavor. As you watch it cook, it goes from this lighter color that the batter is to a darker color. It starts around the edges, but once all the light portion goes away, this is covered with holes, you're done. So we'll bang through all these ploys and then it's time to eat.
we've arrived at my favorite part, which is eating. The interesting thing about the ploy is something that pancakes and waffles cannot do, and that is traditionally when you're eating ploys, you roll them up like this. Amazing, right? The flavor is so unique. It's, uh, it's nutty, it's a little spongy, it's pliable, which is so wonderful on the mouth. Uh, it's sweet and it's buttery, even though there's clearly no butter in this. After having a ploy, which you have to try, you just have to try it, the debate is no longer pancake or waffle, because ploy is the king.